guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here by Marissa Sue, and I'm gonna show you guys how I get perfect beachy, textured mermaid waves. There's a million videos on this already, but hopefully my take on it is a little bit different. So many requests on how I curl my hair, and I know it's so much harder to watch when I'm curling on a client of mine, so I thought I'm just gonna curl on myself. Yes, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm such an overachiever today. This is my favorite wand, curling iron, whatever you wanna call it. If the clamp doesn't work out for you guys, just do the same exact thing I'm doing, but wrap your hair instead of using the clamp because I know that's the hardest part about this curl tutorial. I'm using an inch and a fourth. It's by Babyliss and it's Titanium Pro. Usually I like to use an inch and a half because it gives it kind of bigger curls, more effortless. But because I'm lazy and I don't like to do my hair every day, I like to use a little bit smaller and then it lasts so much longer. Okay, to get started, I'm just gonna part my hair into three sections using a clip. Then you're just gonna part both pieces in front. Whatever you have on your bottom layer, bring it to the front. The trick with this look is to curl alternate waves. So I'm gonna start going away from my face. You wanna focus your curl at the root and then gradually get less of a curl towards the end and that is the key. You want straighter ends. So as close to the root as you can. You wanna keep your curling iron vertical. Unwrap, close to the root, unwrap, close to the root and pull. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next section. Any questions? And I take vertical sections, so the thickness is gonna be more up and down versus width. So you wanna go close to the root, unwrap, then I use my thumb, kinda let slack out, unwrap, Use my thumb and pull. Forward. Use my thumb, unwrap, kind of let slack out. Forward, closer to the root. to make sure I don't over curl those. There's nothing worse than having like a ringlet by your face. But I usually will go through at the end and kind of straighten any pieces if I need to. Sometimes I get impatient and I just want to like mess them up when I'm not done. But I just like waiting until the end. It's so satisfying. <laughs> Okay guys, we're done. That's your textured beachy waves. I'm just kidding. This is the best part. I'm so excited. We're just gonna take these magic little fingers and start going to town. Okay, now that you've brushed your waves out with your fingers, this is when you use texture spray. I use the Orabe Dry Texture Spray. This stuff is intense. You don't need to use a ton because a little goes a long way, but I still use a lot. So I like to take it right at my root first. Here. Once the texture spray is in, you're gonna grab a rat tail comb and I just separate my curls. I do cheesy poses at the end with music, but it's uncomfortable. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know, comment down below, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. Um, what am I missing? There's so much to say, there's so much to recap. 
If you want any other videos, please let me know. I want to give you guys content that you enjoy watching. I need to have like a, what's like an ending? Should I just be like, I'm here by Marissa Sue. Let me do the right blonde for you. No. It's a feeling like a born again teen.